सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम एंड इन यू एच पी थ्री वेर वी वर लुकिंग एट दिस एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ को एक्सिस्टेंस एंड हाउ इट इज सीन बाय द सेल्फ वी सेड दैट वन वे इज टू सी को एक्सिस्टेंस गोइंग फ्रॉम द लोअर टू द हायर एक्टिविटीज so we could be looking you know when we start we may be seeing this coexistence in the form of or seeing only through our lower most activities of selecting tasting so our focus is largely on the form of the units how they look what is the shape and so on and to some extent maybe the effect of the property when we are analyzing comparing thinking about it rationalizing using logic then we are able to see more of the property the effect that one unit has on another but we still look at them as separate units with and having some effect one unit having some effect on the other as we awaken to the activity of contemplation then two things that we notice one is that there seems to be a relationship between every unit in this existence so i am able to see my relationship with every unit in this existence that is one thing and with this relationship i take on also the responsibility i see what is my role what can i do to participate in this existence so my focus shifts from an expectation of things to change outside to responsibility my responsibility of ensuring my role my participation in this existence then as we awaken to the activity of understanding we get clarity about how every unit is not just related to one another it is also very definitely having this activity within it is self organized it seems to be happening on its own every unit in nature seems to be self organized and with that self organization in every unit when these units interact with one another again there is harmony there is maintenance of the harmony so the the trees the shrubs they are interacting with the soil in a very definite harmonious manner they are interacting with the air the water in a very definite manner never does it happen that something suddenly changes that you know the the root starts growing upward the root always tends to grow down into the soil that is the part that is absorbing all the things the shoot is coming up from the top so all these things we take for granted and we say we know when we just look at the form and we look at the impact of one on the other but there is more to that 
So we need to be able to see through the contemplation, we need to be able to see the relationship, the participation of every unit with every other unit. And therefore, to be able to see my relatedness with the units and my participation with the units. And understand the self-organization, the harmony within every unit and the harmony in nature as a whole. And ultimately, with activation or awakening to the activity of realization, I have clarity of the coexistence being in the form of this submergence of all the units in space. So this is, this authenticates it for me. This makes it very clear that this is the basis. This is how there is this relationship between the units. This is how the Units are so self-organized and going about their, you know, playing their part in a very definite manner. This is when we are going from lower to higher activities. Now, if we are moving from the higher to the lower activities, here, what do we see? So now you are able to see with the activity of realization, having awakened to the activity of realization, you have clarity of the coexistence. You are able to just directly see things the way they are. You are able to see that the units are submerged in space. With that, you can also understand very clearly this harmony in nature being a result of or the self-organization being with that basis of the coexistence or the submergence. And with that submergence, you are also able to see the relationship between the units. Now there is no doubt it is very clear that there is submergence. Everything is interconnected with space. Therefore, the relationship is there. I can see it. Now, nobody has to tell me to take care of nature, protect the nature, protect the environment. Because I see everything as one whole, one complete picture rather than in isolated separate bits. So I have the clarity of the relationship, the relatedness. I have the clarity of seeing that each unit is playing its part. And I now have the clarity of what is my part? What is my role? What is my participation in this nature, in this existence? So now, with all of this, with seeing the submergence, understanding the harmony, seeing the relatedness, now all this becomes my guide. This drives my desire. So earlier my desire may have been unguided. at least unguided from inside. Remember we say that the desires are motivated by or the imagination, the desire at the root of the imagination is motivated by preconditioning and sensation largely. Now this seeing the submergence, understanding the harmony, seeing the relatedness, the relationship between the units. This becomes the guide for my desire. My desire becomes to be one with it, to live 
in this coexistence playing my part playing my role so in accordance with that my thoughts also come in line with this desire so now all this coexistence the harmony the relationship this is guiding me this is guiding my senses i am no longer looking at pleasure through the body through the senses i am rightly utilizing the senses for their rightful purpose to get information about the physical facility about the body and so on i am rightfully looking at the health of the body earlier i may have been overusing the resources with an obsession for keeping the body looking good keeping it healthy over indulging in these resources now i see my role my responsibility in keeping the body healthy and with that sense of responsibility with that sense of self regulation i take care of the body and keep it in good health rather than just using up all resources i do what is necessary in order to keep the body healthy from my side so i may take care of the intake make sure that my routine is in sync with nature make sure that i am doing some labor exercise because that is required for the body to stay healthy and active i am able to do the what we talk of yoga pranayam the activities the postures of the body the breathing the breath regulation all that and i make use of common day to day herbs that are available to me and with all of this i am able to maintain the body in pretty good health because the body has its own self organization i am able to see that and it tends to come back to harmony when i don't interfere with it too much when i give it the right instructions so with this i am able to take care of the health of the body with ease and i am also able to see the role of physical facility in my life earlier i may have been accumulating more and more without an idea of how much is sufficient now i understand how much is required that physical facility can only help to take care of the body it can't fulfill the self and with that clarity i can see that i am already prosperous i have more than enough to take care of the body and then i begin to share so i rightly utilize my physical facility i share with those who don't have sufficient so it is being utilized now profit is not the only thing i am looking at i am looking at having sufficient physical facility feeling prosperous sharing with others rightly utilizing all that i have and with that we gave an assignment also to reflect on so we had said that one is the same as the previous day what we had asked you to do to see where is your what part do you pay attention to the form the property the natural characteristic the innateness of the coexistence 
then we also ask this question are you rightly utilizing the sense organs of the body what is their purpose are you using it for that how do you approach the health of the body are you depending on medication and treatment or are you taking responsibility for the health of the body with the feeling of self regulation and thirdly we ask to check about the physical facility in our home are we rightly utilizing it or not yes bali ji reddy ji namaskar madam namaskar to all uh madam uh, when i have been observing i can see the form property and also the innateness for example uh, i can see i can observe the trees uh they see they uh, grow they not only exist they grow i can uh, see that uh, growth and uh, they give uh leaves the new leaves in the only in only the vasant rutu and in the sisir rutu when it comes uh, automatically the uh, leaves fall down so it's a uh, self orderliness that i can observe so we have to see for ourselves you know in our interaction with others are we yeah. seeing our relatedness are we aware of you know the harmony within we are able to see when we have the right feeling we have the harmony within and when we express this to the other it is mutually fulfilling so we are trying to be in harmony with others also and so on so all this you know we have to see the detail of this each one of us we don't have to share it also we just have to see it within us and you will notice that there are many loopholes we see we say we understand everything but then in our living it is not reflecting in that so then it is there as information and it's okay to start as information but ultimately unless we keep checking for ourselves we become complacent that we know because we have the information it's like the same thing i was saying you know we look at the form we look at the you know we see a bird flying we look at the form and we say oh that's a bulbul or that's a poet and i think i know and that's the end of it then i don't go back and see anything beyond that so until and unless i keep an open view and i keep checking for myself i will not notice that and i will think i am okay others are a problem but to be able to see that in this entire existence the way things are i have a very definite role to play i have an important role to play i have a very definite role to play and it is not just with nature or just with a few human beings but rather i have relatedness with each and every human being and that is what i bring in my living so in my living i am living with that feeling that thought of relationship of harmony of coexistence so we have to keep working for that and also when it comes to you know right utilization one is the physical facility we can protect what we have so supposing there is an old table and it is getting worn out and so we can varnish it and keep it protected the surface protected from the wear and tear with the atmosphere that can be one thing that we protect the physical facility we have but also the right utilization if i am keeping the physical facility and i have lots of physical facility my rooms are full of physical facility of furniture of things but i can't use enough of it 
So I keep storing it that we will use it at some point later. But that later may not happen. And then we keep, you know, we, keep, we also keep complaining that I have to do so much dusting and I have so much work to do and I have to take care of all this in the house and all. But we don't share it also. So somewhere that prosperity issue comes in that I keep accumulating for something that I may use later. Same thing with money, isn't it? We put it yeah, in really. And we feel good about the number. It's only a number now, isn't it? We see the, the number in the bank. You know, bank balance. Bank, and we feel good. Okay, I have this much. I have this much deposit. I have this much bank balance. And yet, I may keep, you know, trying to invest more and making sure that I get this bank balance to increase without having an idea about how much I really need. You know, isn't it enough for myself? But I accumulate for my children, my children's children for so many generations. But ultimately you will see that those generations will not use what you are keeping for them. Many a time, you know, we keep our clothes. Oh, these are brand new clothes. I can't give them away to somebody else. I will keep them for my son when he grows up and so on. But when the son grows up, he's not interested in that. He says, oh, no, this is not, this is very old style. This is not in style now. I don't want this. So he will go and buy new things. And again, I could have given it to somebody who would have used it, enjoyed wearing it, used it, and rightly utilized it. So we have many things like this in our homes that we can check and share if we are not using them, that we rightly utilized the physical facility. But it is also helping somebody else who really lacks it. Because I have sufficient. So if we check in our cupboards and see how many clothes we have, you know, we ask that question in the workshop. How many clothes we have and how we can uh, see how much we really need and do we have enough? Or we de do we need to go out and purchase more? So all those things the more we explore within, the sooner we'll be able to uh, gain clarity within ourselves. Yeah, I have a question. While taking care of the health medication, uh, what is the role of medication? Suppose I do not want to medicate my body and I've heard medicine. But I am having the problems, then how can we self regulate the body without the medicine? Or it is uh, how to have a. How to keep that harmony in the body? Yes, harmony in the body. And how to compromise this situation? I mean, how to deal with this situation? Yeah. So you don't have to compromise. You will find that actually the body is designed to be in good health for about a hundred years. It is just that we don't use it properly. Therefore, it tends to go into disharmony earlier and earlier. So we need to understand what is important for the body. So if you go back to, you know, the FDP that we talk about, the self-regulation, that we need to watch the intake, we need to watch the... Um, our daily routine, is it in sync with the natural cycles in nature, the daily cycle, the seasonal cycle? So we need a little bit of information about that and then tune ourselves to that, that kind of food. 
eating at the right time, sleeping at the right time, all those things. So if you go through the health, um, you will notice that there are many things we can do. And in general, when we do that and pretty much give the right instructions to the body, things are more or less taken care of by themselves. Of course, there are times when we don't do, say we travel, we do other things which disturb this routine and we you know, create disharmony in the body. Then for those times, yes, we can take medication. But right now, how we speak, you know, for diabetes, keep taking medicine for life. For high blood pressure, keep taking medicine for life. This is not required. There are many things you can do and you can come out of it. Because we tend to see the units. We see mm. the space between the units as a gap, as an absence, as a void. Mm -hmm. But we see, we are trying to see with the gross eyes, then we are not able to see the space through the gross eyes. Because the eyes are much more gross, the space is far more subtle. So you can't see it through that. Now, if you want to see the submergence, how to see the space? Many of you ask, how to see this submergence? How to see the coexistence? It depends on how much of what activities are activated in us. Depending on that, we are able to see the coexistence. So if I have, my focus is, you know, in the lowermost activity of selecting tasting, like we were saying, when we talk of space, we are just seeing the gap between the units and saying, okay, that might be space. Isn't it? But we are still looking at the units. If you, if you just think about, you know, when you are looking outside, what do you see? We see the forms of things, don't we? Or do we think about the gap in between the forms? Where is our focus, do you think? Where do you think we keep our focus? On the units that we see, the form? Or are we looking and focusing on the gap between the units? We're seeing the form, exactly. So we are seeing the units, our focus is on the units. Why? Because we are seeing through the gross eyes. It's but obvious that we will see only the form through this activity of selecting tasting. So we see the gap between two units, but we see the unit as something and the gap as nothing. Is it? Now if you Go to the next level or to the analyzing, comparing. Then we may start seeing, okay, two units are there and there is some impact of one unit on another unit. So when, you know, it rains, the water falls and we see that the plants get all green. They grow well, they feel, they look nourished, they look fresh. So you can see that the impact of the water on the plant and so on. So you see the impact of one unit on another unit. So there you are using selecting tasting also to some extent and also to some extent analyzing, comparing. Isn't it? When the season changes, you see the form changes. So you see also, but at the same time, you're seeing the impact of the season on the form of the unit. You're also seeing, you know, what it does, what kind of effect it has. Like we took the effect of sunshine, the sunlight. Now there, your form doesn't change, but you can feel the impact. 
you feel the warmth so you can analyze things you can use the sensation and you can use analysis and get an idea about the impact the effect of one unit on another unit but still our focus is still on the units more than on the gap isn't it but we think okay there is some effect it's only when we start um, awakening to contemplation that we start seeing the relatedness between the units that this is not just that they are separate units but there is also a relationship between the units the trees are bringing out something i am taking in that na in the daytime in the presence of sunlight photosynthesis is happening no the impact of the sunlight on the plant the plant is giving out oxygen taking in carbon dioxide now this oxygen i am it is being made available to me my survival depends on it i am taking in this oxygen breathing out the carbon dioxide that is being used by the plant so you can see the relatedness here itself so like that you can see the relatedness between any two units and you see ultimately this relatedness we have with each and every unit whether we see it or not so that now you see that okay these units they may look separate but there is some relationship between them then when we awaken to the activity of understanding we see the self organization in every unit how every unit is going about in a very definite manner like we keep saying no you have a certain fruit coming up say you have a pumpkin plant now it grows only pumpkins it doesn't grow something random suddenly it doesn't happen that suddenly it will give you a banana or some other fruit everything is happening in a very self organized manner you take a fruit within your body and it has become your body where is the banana now after you ate it it becomes a part of you it gets utilized the nourishment from that is helping nourish the tissues of the body so all this is happening in a very self organized way we tend to take lot of credit that i am doing so much for my health and that's why i am healthy but i am only making the choices the rest of it is being done by itself how is it that the banana that i eat in the morning has a particular effect on the body but the same banana when i eat at night has a different effect the body is the same but it disrupts the harmony if you see you know for all the processes you will find that every unit is self organized in a very definite manner and is tends to be in harmony so even for the body we may give it we may make the wrong choices we may give it the wrong instructions but ultimately it it is always trying to get back into harmony you will see that so we will see the self organization in every unit and ultimately when we awaken to the activity of realization then we can see the submergence of all the units in space so this is how we see things if we can go to the next slide so you have you know at the level of selecting tasting you see space as a gap as an absence when it comes to analyzing comparing from there if you are trying to see space you see it as a medium from where this effect is happening the impact of one unit on another when you awaken to contemplation then you see 
see space as some reality in which there is relatedness. When you awaken to understanding, you see it as some reality in which there is some harmony. But when you awaken to realization, you directly see the space itself and the submergence of all the units in space. And so it becomes very clear that this is the basis for all of this. So the role of human being in this ever expressive coexistence, this is what we have been seeing. We've been seeing how we interpret, how we see the things, the, the coexistence when we are looking through the eyes, through ourself within, not through the gross eyes but through our, you can say, internalize, or you can say through directly through the self when we are seeing. So with that comes the clarity, the understanding of the coexistence, this entire existence. So some important conclusions that we have been able to draw till now. One is that human being is the coexistence of self and body. So let's not just skim through this quickly. Let us reflect on each one of these. So that the human being is not just the body, but it is the self and the body and the two are in coexistence. When we say there is a distance between the self and the body, now we can appreciate that it is not, there is no connection like that. We are not physically connected that gap, that distance, there is space and so there is a coexistence of the self and the body. We also said, we concluded that the self is central to human existence. Body is just used as an instrument. So in the human being, if you pay attention, you find what is significant for you, what is central to your existence, is yourself. The body is just being used as a tool by you. Yes, it is important. Yes, it is very much uh, a very well-designed, sophisticated tool. But between the body and the self, the self is the one that is central. Self is the one that is significant for me. Because I am that. For me, I see that this happiness within, all this is more significant to me. The body I am using, when I don't understand, I try to use the body for happiness. But when I see my role, when I see things the way they are, when I see my purpose, then I use the body rightly for the purpose. So I use the body like a tool. Then another conclusion we said was that the need of the self for continuous happiness is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought in the self. Now this also is a very important conclusion. We may not have been able to conclude it fully, but we can certainly see that I have a need within me for continuity of happiness. And we may also be able to see that whatever we have been trying to do to get this happiness from outside, it has been temporary. It, we can't seem to sustain it. So it's not been working. So we can keep it open that this continuous happiness can be fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought in the self. At least we may have been able to see that whenever we have the right feeling and right thought, we feel happy we feel calm, we feel comfortable. So ultimately, if we can ensure this right feeling, which can happen through right understanding, then we can have this continuity of happiness. At least in theory, we can see that, if not practically. Then another important conclusion, that this was, so far we were talking about the self. Now, if we look at the coexistence, if we look at the existence, 
the existence is in the form of coexistence where units are submerged in space this we have been saying this is one more important conclusion that we could draw from our talk about the existence this far then all that we see in nature we try to for the purpose of study organize it in a way that we could see it as four orders so this is when we are talking of these four orders in nature this is also an expression of the coexistence an unfolding of the coexistence therefore you see all this so on one level you see the form the variety on a deeper level you see the relatedness the harmony but this is all an expression of the coexistence so existence can be understood by awakening to the activities of the self when we put together the lower and the higher activities the essence we are able to see through the higher activities with that we align our lower activities and therefore we can live in co in coexistence in this existence be one with the pattern the design that is already there so with this these important conclusions now we can um see our role as a human being in this existence this is what we'll be seeing in this lecture and further in the next module also about our conduct so with these conclusions we can see that the role of the human being is what what do we need to do one is we need to understand the coexistence to be able to see it and the next part is to bring all our lower activities in line so that we can live in coexistence and if we do this this is already fulfilling our role our participation and we can have continuous happiness in the self which is anyway our basic aspiration so all this we will look into so in place of coexistence you know when we say understand the coexistence what are we understanding in this coexistence we are understanding that the units are there they are submerged in space and by virtue of this submergence there is harmony between the units there is harmony within the units and between the units and there is a relationship between the units all this we are seeing when we see the coexistence so with that then we can see our role also isn't it to try to understand this coexistence when we are trying to see it understand it this is referred to as knowledge when we are trying to bring all our lower activities in line with this knowledge in line with what we have seen as a reality to try to ensure our feelings our thoughts of coexistence to have this clarity of how to live in coexistence that is referred to as resolution so once we have the knowledge once we can see things the way they are once we don't have misconceptions misassumptions about things the way they are then with that knowledge now we can bring all our lower activities in line with that knowledge and then live in coexistence and that is the resolution which we will find that it is a holistic kind of a solution to the large the vast majority of problems that we are facing today it's because we don't see things the way they are and we don't live in accordance with that this further this living in coexistence we can think of it in two ways one is 
living in coexistence that is in relationship with other human beings. So that is where we say, expand your seeing your relatedness, not just with your immediate family, but with your neighbors, your relatives, and further and further and further, your community, your town, till you are able to see your relatedness with the whole world, all the human beings in the world, what we call the undivided society. So living in coexistence, one part is seeing the relationship with other human beings all the way up to an undivided society. And the second part can be to be able to live in coexistence with entire nature. So what we call the world family order. So not just with human beings, but with every unit in nature, what we refer to as the universal human order. So you can look at it in these two ways, to live in coexistence, to play our part, to play our role. Ultimately, we are working for these two things, an undivided society, where we can see our relatedness with all human beings and a universal human order where we are able to see our relatedness with every unit in existence, not just human beings, but entire nature. We have to go from knowledge. Only when we see things the way they are, will we understand things the way they are, isn't it? So work with knowledge, then bring all our lower activities in line and try to live in that, what we call resolution, and keep at it till we get to an undivided society where all human beings can see their relatedness with every other human being, and a universal human order where we can all see our relatedness with every single unit in this existence. So what we need to do is, at the level of the self, we have to ensure the knowledge and the resolution in the self, isn't it? Knowledge at the level of realization, activity of realization to be able to see things directly within the self. And then to bring the lower activities within the self in line. So resolution, this, these two things are happening in the self. Then what we do outside, playing our part, our participation. Here we may be using the body. We will be using the body to express, to participate. You know? So there we can use the self and the body, self with the instructions and the body with the actual doing to get to the undivided society and universal human order. So this is what we need to do. We'll reflect on this, all that we have talked about.